Proclaim liberty throughout the land and all the inhabitants thereof. Leviticus 25.10. That verse was taken from the description in the year of Jubilee, which was a prophetic picture of Christ, our Jubilee, who forgave our debts, freed us from our spiritual slavery. Just to make sure you get that connection, our nation's birth was announced under a biblical decree. Christ is our liberator and savior. We too can look back and see what God has done, not just in biblical history, but our own history as well. Our greatest days are not behind us, they are ahead of us. The stories of revival are important. They are part of our shared history, and they are the reason we are why we are here today. It isn't about trying to live in the past, but about reclaiming the fires of those who have gone before us and igniting fresh ones in the present to continue blazing a trail into the future. God is looking for ones who will, who are willing to follow in the footsteps of the great men and women who preceded us. He is looking for some Elijahs, sons and daughters of God, who will pick up the mantles of the departed generals and move forward to the next great awakening. Psalm 77, verses 11 and 12 in the New King James Version says, I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. I will also meditate on your work and will talk of your deeds. So go ahead, look back, and remember the wonders of the Lord. The King Wave Revival, right here, right now. Barton Stone, 1801, said, The effects of this throughout the country were like a fire, dry stubble driven by a strong wind. All felt its influence, more or less. The whole country appeared to be in motion to this place and multitudes of denominations attended. All seemed hardly to invite, all seemed hardly to unite in the work of Christian love. Party spirit of ass shrunk away. The true description of this meaning cannot be done. It would border on the marvelous. It continued five days and night without ceasing. Many, very many through eternity, remembered with thanksgiving and praise. Now, the King Ridge Revival marks a pivotal point in history of our nation. The sins of land continue to pile up. America has lost her way and forgotten why she was founded. A great battle was raging for the soul of this nation. Just as it did before King Ridge, America again has moved away from her godly principles upon which they were founded. We desperately need another move of God. Where are those who will stand between heaven and earth and contend for mercy upon our land? Where is the church in this hour when she is needed the most? It is time to wake up from her slumber and pray through the night, calling it out. Lord, do it again like Cain Ridge. Revelations 5, verse 8, the New King James says, Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a heart golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Revelations 8, 3 through 5, the New King James says, Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense, that he could offer it with the prayers of the saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke and the incense, with the prayers of the saints, ascended before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from heaven, from the altar. They threw it to earth, and there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. The fire from the altar is the power of God released from heaven to change earth. As our prayers are lifted up, filled until they reach a point, the bowls are tipped over in God's power and provision on earth. So when you pray, you are filling prayer bowls in heaven. In God's perfect timing, your prayers are mixed with the fire of God, His power, to cast down to the earth and change your situation. Even if you don't feel like anything is happening in the natural world, when you pray, you are filling up bowls in the spirit. And when they are full, they will tilt and pour out answers to your prayers. We have now moved into this birthing stage. Now is the time, here is the place for us to pray and decree what God is saying again. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, thanking you for the decrees and declarations 
that were made by Barbara Yoder, Chuck Pierce, and Dutch Cheech, according to your heart during the 50-state tour. We thank you that each and every one of these is coming to fruition. Father God, according to Ezekiel 12, 28, you said, Therefore, say to them, Thus says the Lord God, None of my words will be postponed anymore, but the word which I shall speak is done, says the Lord God. We decree all this according to your word. No more delay. We, the Ecclesia in Kentucky, say, United we stand, divided we fall. We say to the Ecclesia in Kentucky, the trumpet has sounded. It's time to run with the horses. Father, we thank you for the word and spirit of Kentucky speaking to the entire nation. We thank you for the loosening of the horses, the runners and the riders. They will ride, they will run through this nation once again, breaking out as a first fruit state for revival. We thank you that the visions of past have come and been redeemed, giving Kentucky a first fruit anointing to set the course for emancipation, freedom from legal, social, and political restrictions in our nation. We thank you that Lexington has released the war horses across the nation and they will be getting ready for war. We thank you, breath of God, for the cleansing physical diseases of the lungs. We thank you for miraculous healings of lung cancer in this state. We thank you for the new order rising up in this state, causing both the land and the church of the land and the church to flourish. We thank you for the mongoose anointing that is eating the serpent that has held back revival. Father, you said, do not say next year or the following, for now you are swallowing up the serpent in this day. We thank you for the mantle of deliverance breaking out in this day, causing freedom to manifest in the entire nation. We thank you for the dismantling of ancient thrones result, resulting in the unlocking of the future of Kentucky. We thank you for supernatural confessions arising from the government in Kentucky as men attempt to change righteous laws the outrage, outcry, and resistance from Kentucky has caused a remnant from every state to rise up in agreement with Kentucky. We thank you the government anointing in this state is carried into Washington, D.C. We declare from Kentucky to D.C. We thank you that Kentucky is an upper room state with 120 counties. We thank you that worship exposing the hidden things causing the enemy to lose its hold, resulting in a drastic change in this atmosphere. This new dimension will cause thousands to come to worship. We thank you for the seer anointing that has been loosed in Kentucky along with great revelation. We thank you for supernatural release of a new strength to move toward the sound that causes the nations to come into conflict. But you said the bride will rise and it will call forth freedom. We thank you for the new level of spirit of wisdom and revelation bringing to a higher level of prophetic anointing. We receive the watchman's charge of, according to Ezekiel 33.3. We thank you that as you move into this new dimension, we are known as the hearing state. We thank you that the discerning of spirits is released to your ecclesia, resulting in a strong, strong deliverance anointing with a strong, strong, strong spirit of deliverance. We thank you that the mantles of war and worship, unlike anything else seen before. A pleasant war because it was born in worship, creating a new great awakening. We thank you for the spirit of revelation resulting in divine strategies released that have gained the victories. We thank you for the ecclesia for invading the mountain of education, doing whatever you say to do with signs wonders being released to universities, schools, organizations, elementary schools, and daycares. We thank you for the working together of your ecclesia with the one wisdom, the one revelation. According to your word, none moving out until both are released. We thank you the ecclesia will experience new things never seen or heard before because you, Lord, have laid siege of the state to take back what the enemy has stolen. We thank you that you are coming with a fire because the fire of revival has begun. As one. We thank you that your ecclesia has learned to hear the sound of God and that both can find and go through the gate of revelation. We thank you that we hear the sound of rain 
for the nation that has shifted as one. We thank you for the sounds of war, of waters, of winds, of thunder, and the sound of heaven that have been released over this state and through our nation as one. Creed in Jesus' name, so be it. We decree all this word according to the word. We say no more delay as one. 